Okay, so in today's exercise, we are going to discuss and how are we going to work with random numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to let Flutter generate random numbers, then uh, we are going to work with those numbers that are generated. Okay, so I have prepared here a UI for a mathematics tutorial for kids. Okay, so particularly addition. So how does this app works? Okay, so here we have two buttons. Uh, by the way, we have two numbers here, then a text field, then two buttons. So what will happen is that when the user clicks on generate, it is going to generate randomly two numbers from 1 to 9. Okay. Then the child or the user is going to input the number on the text field. Okay. And when the user clicks on or taps on check button, it is going to validate if the inputted answer by the user here equals to the sum of the two numbers. And depends, uh, it depending on the result, it is going to display on the remarks text field here. If ever correct, it's just going to display here correct. And if ever wrong, it is going to display wrong. Okay? So it is that simple. So we have here, I have already created here my UI. So first is we have the text addition for kids. So we have there the text widget addition for kids. Okay, then we have a size box for the distance. Then we have another text for the value here, the number. And as you could see here, I have assigned n1 variable which is actually defined here n1 initially it is equal to 0 that's why as you could see here by default it is 0 another variable n2 okay, or number 2 or the second number for the second number here and that is found on another text we have it here it has the value of whatever would be the value of the n2 variable Okay, then we have another size box for the distance. Then we have our text field. So for our text field here, I have assigned a controller named answer controller, and this answer controller is actually defined here. Okay, it is a text editing controller. So we have answer controller, and so on. Okay, then we have two buttons here. For the two buttons, I have actually created, or I have them contained in a row, okay? So, row, then the children would be, we have the elevated button for the generate event, okay? A size box, we have here the distance, okay? And the check button for checking the answer. Okay, so take that here that the two buttons are contained within a row. And the last is we have the remarks. So we have here another text for the remarks. Okay, so I'm just going to change later on uh, the content or the string for the remarks because as of now, it is actually a constant remarks. Okay, so let's go first with the generate button. Okay. So for the generate button, so we have it here. So on the on pressed event. So since if ever we are going to generate here, we are going to change the values of uh, two widgets here. So therefore, there will be changes on the UI. So again, we are going to use here set state. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change the value of N1. Okay. N1, as you can see here is for our text up here n1 and n2 so this is n1 this is n2 so we have here n1 is equal to random okay so we have here the random class okay that is going to generate 
random numbers. Okay, so what I want is that uh, it would be from range 0, oh no, no, zero, uh, 1 to 9. Okay, so random, because the syntax here is actually random, then that next int, because we are going to generate integers. Okay, next int, then uh, by the way, we have here okay, what it has is only the max. So if ever max that is from 0 up to uh, if ever we're going to have this next int, meaning from 0 to 9. As you can see here, value is 0 and less than uh, greater than or equal to 0 and less than 10 because the 10 here or the max is actually exclusive. Okay? It is not inclusive. So how are we going to generate numbers in range okay so we have here the syntax maximum minus the minimum number then plus the minimum okay so this one here this syntax here is going to give us for example one to th one to nine so we're going to generate numbers from one to eight because this is exclusive for the max Okay, so what are we going to do here so that the max will be included? Okay, so we're just going to have here plus one. Okay, so what are we going to do here is we are going to actually initialize here a variable. We have the mean and the max. Okay, so here I'm going to gener I'm going to initialize int mean is equal to. I'm just going to have initial values of no 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 should not be zero because I, I said one two nine okay so we have there one to nine okay so that's for the end one so I'm what I'm going to do next is I'm going to generate values also for the second number and take note here when I generate random numbers and assign it to those variables they are again inside our set state method okay, so save and reload okay. so as I'm going to click on the button here these two numbers must change so click so I have here it generated 5 and 7 okay generate 7 1 and so on okay so we are done with the generation of the random numbers so next is the user is going to input for the answer then we are going to click on check and display the remarks here okay so we have here our check so how are we going to check uh, the answer of the user so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, create a variable I'm just going to have here answer okay if answer is equal to okay answer con controller that text okay but as you can see here it returns an error why it is because uh, int is integer and text is a string so again we are going to parse in that parse or we are going to convert the string into integer all okay. right so once we have generated or retrieved the answer and converted into an integer we are then going to validate all okay. right if answer is equal to n1 plus n2 okay so if answer is equal to the sum of n1 and n2 which are actually generated here that are displayed here then we are going to display here correct okay but to do that what we're going to do is we are going to have another variable 
a string variable remarks okay initially it is blank okay so this this variable now is going to contain the remarks if ever it is right or wrong remarks is equal to correct else then we're going to have remarks is equal to wrong actually there's a shortcut for this one but that is going to be later on uh, on the other videos that we're going to have okay so i we have i have changed here now the value of the remarks variable so therefore here we are going to change also for our text we're going to have remarks save reload okay we have no remarks here but actually if ever I'm going to check now it is not going to display here uh, the remarks why because we have no set state method here so what I'm going to do here since there will be changes here so I'm going to have set state okay I'm going to copy this one here then save reload okay 1 plus 9 the answer is 9 here so check so you can see it here it's wrong okay so generate again so 9 check that is correct generate then let us say 14 no 13 13 check that is wrong okay so that's how are we going to generate four random numbers and do some manipulation